Detectives have been working this case since Saturday, and they finally got a break last night that led them to these suspects. And from these court documents, we get the gruesome details of their confessions. It's been crazy because we didn't know where he was at. We didn't know nothing. The family of 21-year-old Jaron Moreland searching for answers after he disappeared from a grocery store parking lot in Moore with his friend Elise Smith on Saturday night. We've later learned that uh, two victims went to Crest to possibly sell a firearm. According to court documents, they met up with Kevin Garcia Boatler and his 16-year-old brother. Boatler told detectives he heard a gun rack when the victims got into his van and his younger brother fired several rounds at them. One victim was hit in the head. Boatler says he got scared, sped out of the parking lot, and came here, where he met up with Johnny Barker. Barker told police he helped the Boatler brothers attach cinder blocks around the bodies with chains and dump them in the pond. The, the detectives through social media and different things like that were able to uh, identify the suspects and then find this location. All three of the suspects have been arrested. Police were able to find the two bodies in the pond and are waiting for the medical examiner to confirm they are the missing men. God gave us a release so we don't have to go for years and years and never know where he's at. It wasn't the closure Moreland's family wanted. He's a very, very good daddy <laughs> and grandson. <laughs> And he was my youngest grandchild out of ten. Oh, God. But now they're hoping for justice. More police say the 16-year-old will be charged with first-degree murder, and he will be tried as an adult. Wendy?